Some of you may have experience when your voice is hoarse or doesn't come out at all. Voice disorders is an emerging global health problem affecting almost one third of the general population across the world. Voice is something you often take it for granted until you lose it, especially for people who use their voices professionally, <coughs> like singers, teachers, broadcasters, journalists, Losing their voice can terminate their careers. Voice disorder often stems from the chronic injuries to the very delicate soft tissue called focal cords in your larynx. Personalized medicine remains an open challenge in voice care. For example, some patients may have an alternative form of a gene that makes them easier to develop focal scarring. In these cases, surgery is not going to help because it will only create more complicated complications down the road. In our lab, we decided to use computational technology to help the clinician to make better decisions in tailor their treatment for specific patients with voice problems. The idea is to develop a computer model to tailor each treatment to specific patients depending on their molecular profile and lifestyle profile. Computational medicine has been used widely actually in precision and personalized medicines for complex diseases such as cancers and sepsis. Our research lab has developed such a computing platform to develop a treatment diseases a computational platform to generate a virtual patient with focal injury. Clinicians can look at the computer and test different treatment strategies based on the patient. They can test focal surgery, voice therapy, or any bio-injectable materials in the computer. When we develop the model, we take what is known in the biophysics and biochemistry related to information and healing and turn the information into a computer algorithm. Our computer models are pretty big. We have over 300,000 cells and molecules in our computational model. It also means that we need a very fast computing platform to generate or simulate this process. With our fast performance computing, we are able to simulate what happened in one week biological events in human body using 30 minutes with our simulation platform. Collagen and elastin are the structured proteins from connective tissues. We are interested in visualizing these components in our computer model because their distribution and densities is often related to tissue scarring. It also means that we need to handle many more data points than before. By using the same high performance computing, we are able to develop an innovative visualization protocol to observe how a scar tissue evolves over time and over space. We can inspect any specific cells or specific structured proteins in the computer model at any time as we want. Computational medicine has generated new insights into our voice treatment. In contrast to what people think of to the complete suppression of information, we find that a treatment design that allows a balance of pro-inflammatory and anti-inflammatory mediators actually can promote better healing. Patients are often asked not to use their voice for an extended time after the injury. However, our simulation show that some early on focal exercise are actually safe and help the patients to realign their collagen fibers better in their healing tissue. Chronic inflammatory diseases like focal injuries, bronchitis, and arthritis are not easy to treat. However, they share many similar cell types and molecules. We are eager to share and transfer our computing technology to address other clinical challenges. Computational medicine can be used to simulate clinical trials or rational drug designs. People, if we can involve our computation technology very well developed and involved over time, will be able to dramatically reduce the use of animal testing or even for human preclinical testings. Patients are human beings and not merely a string of numbers churning out from the computer. Personal interactions cannot be replaced by the computer. 
but I believe computational technology can help improve our care in a more precise and personalized way. Thank you.